I've had this video requested me a good few times by different people. A few people were asking me how I do my brows, a few people were asking me how to contour and highlight and things like that. So I thought I'd combine it together in one video, do an everyday look and if you want to see it, keep on watching. So I take a thin angled brush. This brush is actually just from eBay and the brow product that I use is the Ardell Brow Pomade in dark brown. I've had this for a good wet now and I'm not even finished it yet. But I just take a wee bit of that and I put that just there on my hand. I prefer using pomades over powders or pencils. I just feel like it defangs the brow far more because it's so pigmented. I like to start off by creating the shape that I want at the top. So just here, instead of curving it sort of in a rounded shape, it's gonna go just out like that. And then I just fill that in. Because there is no hers there, there will be a few mistakes, but I just like to go in and fix it up after with concealer. So I try to do it as precise as I can and then afterwards go in with concealer and fix it up. And then I put a little bit as I've done there just underneath the brow. Then I take a spoolie, just using this one from the other side of a Morphe brush and brushing whatever product that was put there up just to create an ombre effect instead of brushing the pomade right out here and creating like a block. After that I go on with concealer, I'm using the Rude Concealer. Look at that. I'm using the Rude Concealer in shade Fur. And then with the wee brush just like this one, this one is from Primark, it's got the big foundation brush at the end, but I use this one mostly just to conceal. Take a wee bit of that from the back of my hand and pat it on. Then and then dragging that concealer down to the eyelid. So I like to go in and just define the top of my brow with the foundation that I'll be using. And in that case, that is the LA Girl Pro Coverage in the shade Fur. I just take a wee bit of that again on my hand. I take just a flat foundation brush and I brush that along the top, just adding a wee bit up there. Then taking this brush again, just making sure there's not too much concealer on it, and shaping that brow out with that. So that's that there. Then back in with this brush for foundation. Just pop that foundation all over the face with this brush again. After that I go in with a flat brush just like this one and bounce that end of the skin and blend it about. I find that if you use bouncing motions it works far better. I'd say the only time to really drag is around the hairline. And there, just to blend it out a wee bit more. So again, for the under eye concealer, I'm using the Rude and 
and just applying just a little bit of this down there my nose down the bridge a little bit on the forehead Cupid's bow and just the chin because it is a more natural look I'm going to add the Milani retouch and erase concealer in fur just this wee one here and apply a bit of that just so it isn't too bright as you can see by adding that Milani concealer along with the Rude concealer it's darkened it up a bit and it's not as sort of like white and really like in your face as the eyelid here so I just spread that out a little bit more so it's easy to blend and then this brush here this is for eyes but I like to use that just to bounce out the concealer. I have kind of came away from beauty blenders more and more just because of how unsanitary they are and they are very very hard to clean and you can't always be sure that all of the bacteria and the product is washed out of them. I always stayed away from brushes when blending things out because I was afraid that it would leave like brush strokes but it just takes finding the right sort of movement and it works just as good if not better than a beauty blender so that is the concealer done now then I move on and start contouring now some days I will use cream contour like the LA Pro Guard Concealer and there will be other days where I stick to powder contour like the Benefit Hula Bronzer or the Inglot HD Sculpting Powder but that just depends how I'm feeling on that day but I know that more people tend to struggle with cream contour so I'm going to use that now so I just take this is what this looks like here this is in the shade Toast and I quite like this I take a wee concealer brush just like this, dab it in and I take that from kind of where your tragus is there and then just towards my mouth but not going too far in and the same with the other side. Then I add just a little bit up here as I prefer to bronze the top of my head. Then tiniest wee bit along my jawline. Why am I why am I blowing this? This is cream. And then just slightly down the nose and I like to put it under my nose just there so that it looks like your nose is pointier and then again going back in with just the same brush I used to conceal and using circular motions on that try not to drag it up towards your cheekbone too much And I know a lot of people tend to conceal down here as well. I personally do not like to do that because I feel like it defeats the whole purpose of the foundation. It's just adding like unnecessary product. I prefer to put a wee bit of powder there to brighten that bit up more and make the contour sort of pop rather than concealing. And up here I'm just blending like that and then out and making sure 
that is blended into the hairline well. And apologies if I'm looking down here all the time. It's because I've got a wee mirror down here and there's a mirror behind the camera as well but that's more just to make sure that this is actually all getting recorded and then for the nose i have added a little bit too much so all that takes is going back in with a little more concealer afterwards down the bridge And although this is like an everyday natural, like there's nothing really natural about it. <laughs> so now I'm going to powder just lightly. I'm not really going to bake. I'm just kind of putting this on to make sure that my face doesn't go greasy. And rather than using a big, huge, fluffy brush, I'm just taking a small brush like this. This is from Eco Tools and I'm taking a wee bit of that up, dusting it off and lightly just dabbing that under my eyes and the places I feel that I need to set. I have quite dry skin so for anybody who does have dry skin I would advise if you are going to use powder try and use as little as possible and make sure to moisturize and make sure that your face isn't too dry before you put makeup on because then it just leads to it going cakey really so now for the eye because i'm not going for a very bright eye look i just add a bit of powder on that as well then for the eye i'm just going to add sort of peach tone color um, I'm going to do that off camera just quickly and then I'll be back to highlight and all of that. So that's the eye. Just to add a wee bit of colour. Then I go in with my highlighter. For highlighter I like to use the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in the shade Golden Lights which is this one here. The color on this is so nice. It is very buildable. So if you don't really use highlighter and just want a bit of a glow, you could lift a tiny bit of product up and soap it on like that. I just apply that on the tip of my nose, down the bridge of my nose, on my cheekbone here. And I just lightly, with my brush, as you can see, I'm not going too hard or too, being too heavy handed with it. I'm just going very light with that. This product, I will say, I love it. The colour is blinding, depending on how much you build. But it can be very dry. It's all in the name, like, baked highlighter. If you do like this one, I would try going for the MEA one, which is more of a creamy consistency. These cost this one along with the MEA one cost under a fiver, which is incredible because, like, look at that glow. Like, where would you get that for under five pounds? And then I like to apply just using the tip of that there, this part, and going up here and then the bullet brush just like this one I take this and go into my inner corner with that just to brighten it up and then underneath the eyebrow just on the brow bone Then I'll be going in with this bronzer by MEA. It's Sunkiss Bronze. That's all it says. It was only a pound and it's so good. I put the bronzer 
just brown the places where I have contoured just to give it a bronzier look and to make sure the face doesn't look too dull and again because my skin is quite dry and just patting that rather than brushing and dragging and then the forehead I was going to do a video t testing out more of the MEA products because some of them are so good but there's some of them that I still haven't tried so if you want me to do that let me know with products like these it just shows you don't need like loads of money you don't need the high like high-end products to create a good look and personally when I'm going for an everyday look I really don't wear lipstick I would rather go for like a lip plumper or just a gloss or lip balm so I'm just gonna remove that product all the foundation from my lips but yeah this was requesting me a good few times by a few people so I just thought why not it's a simple enough video to make it's not going to take that long honestly a look like this will take me 15 minutes so it is really quick and once you get the hang of it it gets quicker and you'll be able to do it in 10 minutes but yeah my hair is like this pink color now like this rose goldy color and I absolutely love it and I'm going to do a review on this because I absolutely love this brand it is incredible so look out for that and any other videos you would like to see me do just let me know leave it in the comments get on my social media let me know I post looks there most of the time on my Instagram and my Facebook so you can check out any other looks I've done there that is it and I'll see you in the next one bye